Hey folks, Ryan with True Arms. Today we're going to be covering a couple of different topics and I apologize for the lack of videos. Uh, it's been a rough couple months and really I haven't been able to get around that well. So we are going to knock out a couple things in one video and the first one is going to be the Ruger American Centerfire Predator and then the second thing is going to be the Boyd's At One Gunstock. I've had a lot of questions about this particular uh, gun stock, not so much the rifle itself, but the gun stock that this is sitting in, uh, or that the rifle is sitting in. Uh, this particular stock is amazing, and we're going to cover the features of that, but first, let's talk about this Ruger American Centerfire. The Ruger American Centerfire is a newer line by Ruger, which you guys all know this. There's no need for me to harp on this topic. Uh, this particular one is chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, and... <laughs> From shooting it a couple weeks ago, I will say it is a very, very nice shooter. The rifle itself operates very, very smoothly, running on a 70 degree type bolt throw and a three lug bolt head, which is very, very nice. Uh, earlier models of the Ruger uh, centerfire, such as the one that my father has in 22250, uh, was not particularly smooth in its operation. This one is incredibly smooth and I was very surprised when I got my hands on this thing and actually fired it. Uh, it has been in the shop before and I will post pictures of that uh, because we got it in here and we uh, aligned or we centered the scope, aligned everything and got everything bore sided for the owner and then he decided to upgrade and put it in a Boyd's at one stock and get it bedded so that is a really nice touch to this particular rifle. The rifle itself is really fairly priced, especially for the features that you get. Ruger has been around for a very long time and they do make nice firearms, contrary to popular belief. A lot of people, you either hate Ruger or you love Ruger. Um, I've owned a few Rugers and I've never had a single problem with any of them and they've always been very, very well priced, especially for the average consumer, which is the whole point of it. This particular rifle, the American uh, Centerfire Predator, uh, retails without the scope option for about $529. This particular setup with the scope on it, which is a uh, Vortex Crossfire 2, a 4 to 12 by 44, it retails for right under $700. So $699 is what is the suggested retail price. That is still not a bad setup, especially for a rifle that can be pulled out of the box and zeroed and taken out to a thousand yards consistently. I'm sure you guys have all seen that video that was floating around by Vortex. Such a decent rifle for the price that you're paying. The thing I do like about the Ruger American rifle is that even though it is sitting in a synthetic stock, they do have a integrated power bedding system, which is technically just a set of V-blocks that are steel that the rifle is sitting in, which is allowing the receiver to be bedded and the barrel to free float. Not bad coming from the factory and definitely a much cheaper alternative than, let's say, uh, bedding a stock in a solid aluminum bedding block. Even though that is the better option to go, in my opinion, uh, you do have to keep it uh, at a decent price for most consumers. This particular rifle, when I shot it, uh, this is the first 6.5 Creedmoor that I've ever shot, and I will say I was very impressed by the lack of recoil and <laughs> obviously how well it grouped. This thing at 100 yards was hitting the same hole, which is obviously not a surprise as a 6.5 Creedmoor, and it was only at 100 yards. I can definitely see the full potential of the 6.5 uh, as it has taken the firearms industry by storm over the past few years. Uh, one other cartridge that would be interesting to shoot that my uncle, who actually builds precision rifles, that he really digs is the 6.5 by 47 Lapua, but do not let me get started on a different tangent here. Like I said, the price is very good on here, especially for the options that you're getting. You are getting a threaded barrel. You're getting something that is bedded in V-blocks, not just sitting in a cheap uh, polymer stock or synthetic stock. Uh, and it does come with a really nice optic. I know some of the older uh, ones, like my <clears throat> the one that my father has, it came with a scope, but it was nowhere near the same quality as a nice Vortex. Vortex makes some of the best optics I have ever seen, uh, other than getting really high up in there, such as uh, Night Force and, <laughs> you know, those types of optics. Uh, let's see, what else is there to cover on this? 
It does have a rear tang safety, which I do like. The trigger pull is, it's not super light. However, it is very crisp and there's absolutely no creep in the trigger, which is something that I really, really like about it. Uh, aesthetically, it's all right looking. I, I mean, I think the bolt handle looks a little funny here, but that's all right. It functions perfectly fine. And if you say, Ryan, you're just nitpicking this stuff, well, it's because I have a certain style and a certain way that I do things. So it's just something you have to get used to. That's not taking away from the firearm. The firearm shoots great and runs perfectly smooth. It does have a detachable magazine, which is nice. And one thing I really love about it is how they have cut the receiver on this thing. Uh, it is not a perfectly round receiver. It's rounded on the bottom, but you do have some angles in there. And when combined with this Boyd's At One stock that also has similar angles, I think it genuinely uh, highlights it and really, really makes it aesthetically pleasing. I think that pretty much covers everything for the rifle itself. Moving on to the stock. The stock is the Boyd's At One stock. It is a newer line that I believe came out, do not quote me on this, uh, but I believe it came out at the 2017 SHOT Show or the 2016 SHOT Show. I cannot remember. Uh, that skips me. So the At One stock is a fantastic stock for anybody that wants to upgrade the rifle but not break the bank. This particular stock on this rifle cost uh, $204, and it is fully loaded with all the features that you would want other than it being bedded, but we will get into that in a second. This particular model, uh, well, all the particular models of the At One stock have a adjustable, uh, adjustable comb, adjustable length of pull, and the other thing I really like about it is that it is completely customizable to the shooter. You can, you can change out your palm swells if you want to. You can also change out the forend if you want to do a rounded one or the square one that comes stock. You can also change the colors of the grips if that is your thing. Uh, it does come in many different laminates. So this is the particular one that he picked out. There are many other ones. In fact, for those hardcore traditionalists, there are also solid walnut, which is something that I personally would prefer over the laminate, but that's just me. The one thing that does concern me, real quick, is the extreme sharp angle on the front of this stock. It is absolutely cool looking, however the one thing that does concern me is that if you were to drop this, I have a feeling that if it were to hit on the front end, you would be breaking pieces off. But other than that, it is a very, very solid stock. It is very well made, and it was inletted very, very tight for this rifle. They, Boyd's makes a very, very nice stock, period, plain and simple. The other thing about them is, once again, it is very affordable for the common person like myself who doesn't have a lot of money to throw at my own personal firearms. So it is definitely economic and it is nice looking. The one thing I do uh, have to say about this, one of the cons that I do have to say about this is that it seemed when we were installing and fitting everything, it seemed like the height was not quite right uh, between the receiver and let's say the mounting hole on the bottom here for, or the, the mounting piece for your actual uh, magazine. Uh, it seemed to be a little bit too short and we needed to gap that a little bit so that we could get uh, positive insertion of the magazine itself to make sure that it would lock in place and not fall out when it was shooting. Not a big deal. We got it fixed. That is why they recommend that a gunsmith fits this to make sure that everything is going to work all right. The magazine well was a little bit, a little bit tight. We did have to remove some material. Not a big deal. It was just light sanding and uh, getting everything to fit properly. Now, the owner wanted to make this thing as accurate as possible. There are other options out there for stocks. For instance, you could always do something like a Bell & Carlson. You could do uh, McMillan, Tactical, any of those types. However, without breaking the bank, this was a great solid option for him. So basically what we did is we came in here and we bedded this receiver, which is recommended by Boyd's, especially if you're shooting the 450 model of the Ruger centerfire rifle. They do recommend bedding the lugs at least. 
we did bed the lugs and we actually bedded the receiver to make sure that this is a nice snug fit. For those people that do their own bedding jobs or want to take it to a gunsmith to have it bedded, I will say that Boyd stocks always seem to be one of the best ones I've ever worked with when it comes to bedding. The, in, the inside of the stock is pretty roughed up, not, I don't, I don't want to say it like that. It's not glossy and it's not super, super, super pretty and slick. So there's not a lot of prep work required when we go to bed these things. I really enjoy the fact that this thing does run off that V-block system. It makes things nice. However, it can be kind of tricky whenever you are bedding this particular rifle, especially since it does have a detachable magazine and it can get tricky when you're bedding, trying to keep, uh, you know, bedding material from coming through that magazine well. However, all in all, a pretty simple, straightforward job. Quick and easy and painless, and we have just increased the accuracy of this firearm. We hope we will find out soon. If there's any other questions you guys have, uh, feel free to message. Feel free to leave a comment down below. And I will not be putting any descriptions or, or any links to anything in the description, as that could potentially violate YouTube policy, which brings me to my next point. If you like what we do, uh, we only have about 243, 244 subscribers. So thank you for all those people that are actually subscribing and watching what we do. And uh, it does mean a lot to us, to me and my family. And if you like what we're doing, please like, subscribe, um, share if you want to, and try to get us up to that 1,000 subscriber mark so we can start getting our videos monetized again, we hope. So with that being said, thank you again for all the support. We will also be opening our channel on full30.com and whenever we get permission to start uploading there, we will also be uploading on that site as well. For any other questions, feel free to check out facebook.com forward slash true arms armory or you can check us out on Instagram at true arms custom gunworks. Thanks everybody that watched. Oh, one last thing I forgot to mention. This particular rifle stock just dawned on me. This particular rifle stock was $204 for the Ruger Centerfire. However, for every other model that I looked at, including the Mosins, Mausers, Remington 700, Savage models, everything, they were $189. So for under 200 bucks, you get all the features, link the pole, all the fun stuff, and, and you also have two spots for quick detachable uh, sling studs which is super nice. So, $189 for all that for most other rifles. There we go. I think I now remembered everything. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to take this out and shoot it, but we just don't have the time. Don't, we just don't have the time. So, uh, I will show one piece of leftover damage from this particular rifle when we did shoot it. Uh, this is, let me grab it real quick. So this is a solid block of 7075 aluminum. This thing probably weighs a good 25 pounds. Uh, at 100 yards, this particular rifle, shooting Hornady uh, ammunition, match grade ammunition, at 100 yards managed to flip this 25 pound block and left a, I don't know, a divot, a crater, a opening in this thing approximately 612 thousandths of an inch deep. That's a lot of power behind that little bullet. So if you're looking for performance, if you're looking for uh, economic value, if you're looking for any of that stuff, check out the Ruger American Precision Rifle. If you're looking for a decent stock for any make and model of firearms, make sure you check out Boyd's Custom Gun Stocks. Like I said, they make fantastic products. You just can't beat it. Thanks everybody for watching. Stay tuned. Our next video is going to be awesome. We are going to be doing a few other videos uh, coming up here soon, and I promise we will get them uploaded. I do apologize, it takes us about eight hours to upload a six minute video. Yeah, so anyways, thanks for all the support guys. I love you. Stay safe, shoot safe, and God bless.